I don't know one damn person who doesn't like comedies. Not a one. Everybody likes to laugh, and it's the best medicine. Well, that, a doobie and a stiff drink. And today, we got one that pokes a little fun at the movies we've been discussing this past month. It makes fun of the convoluted plots and the male machismo. It's laid back and funny as hell. The Coen Brothers 1998 classic, The Big Lebowski. To all you out of work soda jerks without a penny to pinch. To the detectives with all the answers. To the dastardly dames who play men like baby dolls. And the trusted ones too pure for this world. And all you double crossing, backstabbing, ruthless, baby faced amateurs, this one's for you. So suit up, turn out the lights, put the match to your smokes, and sit back for the darker side of things. Cine Shadow Moonlights, Noir Vimper. The plot in a nutshell Chinamen break in, piss on the dude's rug. The dude wants his rug back as it really tied the room together, and in his search, gets him further and further involved in a convoluted plot of kidnap, embezzlement, and blackmail. And all the dude really wants to do is bowl. So, why the hell are we talking about The Big Lebowski for Noir Vember? Well, the Raymond Chandler-esque plot for one. It's very involved, but by the end of it, we don't remember much, only that we love Walter, Donnie, and El Duderino because they make us laugh so damn hard. Fate plays a card as well, with the dude having the same name as Jeffrey Lebowski, getting picked as the Patsy because they think him a fool. Also the scene when the dude traces what Jackie Treehorn had just written down only to reveal that all Jackie Treehorn did was draw a big dick. <laughs> and the fact that he gets drugged with his drink, coming straight out of the Maltese Falcon. That's about it, though. Other critics who forget the main point of the movie, which is laughter, like to overanalyze the thing, trying to make you look stupid in the process. But don't pay attention to any of that crap. Just run around at work, wherever you are, and just quote the lines at people. If you have a friend named Donnie, yell at him. Donnie is like the viewer who has no idea what is going on in the movie. Walter, my favorite, is the guy finding all the subtext, bringing up things you never thought were there, linking everything to Vietnam or some greater purpose. Everything means everything to Walter especially bowling. But in the end, he's a good guy. And the dude, he's just like us, taking everything in and just enjoying the ride, wanting to live his life and be left alone. This aggression will not stand, man. And nobody forgets it to Jesus. John Taturo is hilarious, man. Wearing that purple suit, licking that ball. Frickin' pervert. And one last thing before I go, the score is awesome. It's fun and it's moving. The track, Dead Flowers, sung by Towns Van Zant, brings me to tears as the movie ends. And the Eagles, well, their song Hotel California is covered nicely here. Definitely better than the original. And if I start quoting this movie, man, I'm never going to get out of my frickin' seat. We'll be here all night. And maybe that's what you guys want. But I'm going to end it there. Check out the movie if you haven't seen it. And if you have seen it, why not watch it again? It's always enjoyable. I also wanted to thank you guys. If you're still here at the end of this marathon, thank you, thank you, thank you. This was a lot of work to get this thing together. I had to re-watch all the movies, take notes, write everything out, film everything. It's been freaking hard, man. A lot of work, like I said. So, again, thank you. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it again next year, uh, but I'm going to start a heck of a lot earlier. 
The time crunching is not good for my health. But hope you enjoyed. Hope you got a few laughs. And I'll check you later. Bye.